Hello and welcome to today's vlog. I'm in the village of Five Oak Green and there's the sign Five Oak Green nickname and here we are in Church Lane Five Oak Green that used to be a working hop place for the hops lovely place look at the oast houses they used to dry the hops in them and the white things they actually turn to see which way the wind's blowing yeah they dry in the kilns they call them right beautiful country lane up here unsuitable for hgv that sign says but you'll get an hgv up there no problem i've been down worse lanes in the lorry Yeah, unsuitable. Someone's going around Kent putting these cat signs up everywhere. Everywhere you go. And you see it's a foggy day in Five Oak Green. Nicknamed Fog, as I've just said. As you can see, across the fields. And here, down here, Cable Primary School. My first school. When I was four years old, a long, long time ago. Yes, I was living the dream in Five Oak Green. We'll have a look at this school. Mr. Stinton was the headmaster who lives in a house up Church Lane, and Mrs. Stinton. What a wonderful school. And you can see the emblem of Cable School right there. Played many games of football over there on the pitch. And what a wonderful school, eh? Welcome to Cable Primary School, eh? Royal Mount. I remember when it was icy trying to get up there, that little slope. Wow. And that is Cable School. Yeah, there are two pubs in Five Oak Green. This is one of them, the Georgian Dragon. It's quite a dangerous walk. And there's a lovely footpath up here. You can walk, take you up the top of Church Lane. It's a typical footpath in England. A nice little walk beside the pub. Lovely little walk, eh? Bit muddy where it's rained every day, nigh on. Yeah, typical rainy season. You see the back of the pub there. Lovely walk, eh? Bluebells are out. Not many of them here, but look at this. Lovely white flower up here. Apple orchard to my right. This is a small village. But they are going to build houses soon. Should be a shame. More houses. Wherever there's land, they build houses. Right. Let's see a bit more of the pub. The Georgian dragon, and the other one is a dovecot, which I will show you. We did have four pubs at one time the King's and the Queen's Head. The King's and the Queen's have gone. 
Look, there is the pub. The Georgian Dragon. Huh? Right, time to get more shopping. And here we are at Bugsy's farm in Five Oak Green. You see the school is down that way where I used to go. And this is another hot picking shed. Used to be a working hot picking shed. Now all the hops are best shut the gate because look, all the hops are done in Eastern Europe now. But used to be here in September. I used to love the smell of hops. We used to jump on the hop tractors on the back. Yeah, this is Bugsy's farm. And there used to be a man here who lived in a shack called Old Bill Cole. We used to annoy him when we were kids. With bangers, fireworks, cool. He'd come out and chase us. He'd come up that side of the edge. Yeah, we'd come up when there have bikes. And this is where the hop pickers stayed in these. They still do. Come down from London to pick the hops they used to. See. They still come down. Look, there's someone living in that one over there. What a wonderful farm. There's old Bill Cole's shack right here. Well, he used to be there. We used to come up here, shout out, X Bill X. You chase us. People staying in that one from London. Go under the railway bridge. It's very muddy. Just try and avoid the mud. It's drying out a bit. We had a nice day today. Right. And that is Bill Cole's. Well, Bugs is land, but where Bill Cole used to live. I think we'll walk up to the farm over there. Moat farm, I'll show you moat farm next. And now we're at Adrian Scripps's farm, Moat Farm in Five Oak Green. Very productive now. I, it was my first job actually here. Four years I worked on this farm when I left school. Look at that, to protect the trees. They didn't have that when I was there. Put the netting down to protect them. Look. They were grown further apart. Now they're grown really close together. They probably know how to get more fruit out of them. Yeah, there's about 
whew, 10 feet apart now then look at that hardly anything apart normally there's a pollinator between them oh, I can't see a pollinator at all that about whew, two and a half feet apart It's interesting. And this is Moat Farm. Wow. Well, I used to work. It's changed since the day of Roy Newman and all the Scottish lads. We come down. What a great farm. It's more productive nowadays. And you can see on there Adrian Scripps. Wow. It only used to be that office. And there only used to be two sheds here. Look how huge it's got. Used to be a grader and a pack house. Dispatch office, pack house, and main area. Very industrious now. You won't recognize it. Look at that, working on a Saturday. That's where all the Scottish lads were, and we used to play football here every lunchtime. There's the bunk bins for the front. This is the lorry entrance here because they don't like you coming up the main bit. Now we're back on the footpath. Probably shouldn't be walking through there. Well, I did work there for four years. Right, let's go to the heart of the village. And then bolt bits plastic. Normally they're made of wood. Right, let's go through here. Oh, blimey. I just remember when I was at Cable Sky, I used to see the hops pile up, and I looking at, I remember looking out the window at the hop pile going up and up and up, and I thought to myself, that's going to collapse one day. And I took ages for it to collapse. Yeah, I took, spent ages looking out the window at primary school. Look at that fruit as far as you can see. Right, let's walk up to the village. Blimey, that's a new building there. Where there's land they build. And we're coming up to Whetstead Road. You'll get a lovely view of the farm 
from that railway bridge just there which is where Lee Midmore used to live when we were kids and we're near the green the centre of the village and as you can see we have a railway track but no station here and no buses hardly very few buses once you're stuck here you're stuck and there's Wetstead Road down there and from this railway bridge you'll get a great view of where we've been right down there and this is Five Oak Green Saturday, May the 4th if you walk down to the village that will make a great station that we do not have and here is the heart of the village in 4k <laughs> if I upload it 4k may not this is quite recent but well I say this was built in the 90s like early 90s they came close forge close all new and we have a shop here Little Hoppers Animal Hospital been many shops the VG Bus shelter was here where we used to hang about when we were kids. And this is the heart of the village. And that's the village shop over there. Which I prefer to go to Paddock Wood when I was here because it was easier. Right across this busy road take a quick look at the shop used to be a canoe place there it's gone and there is the village shop it's a one stop our only village right that the shop there Part of the village. Oh, five Oak Green in 4K. It's been old shop there years and years ago. Five Oak Green, yeah. Right, and we shall walk up here. It's a footpath between these houses. And see, we call this the penthouse lovely little footpath which we will take and explore Some peace for you. Do I go that way or do I go this way? Let's try this way. I've gone the right way because in this field here. We used to take the motorbikes, but they fenced it all off now. Blimey. 
you can't even walk anywhere. That's a shame. And the community centre of Five Oak Green. And the wreck, that's all changed. Cool. Wow. All changed here. Looks like there's a dog show on here by all the barking. sees ground and here is the King's Head one of our pubs that has gone has gone the King's Head used to be a sign there look at it trees growing out of it that is the King's Head of Five Oak Green gone and here we have the pavilion, the cricket pavilion, blimey, we used to kick footballs up against this, couldn't now look they put a cage, Capel Cricket Club, wow, yeah. there is a cricket club here, and they have a net to practice in, wow, And this was the wreck with all the things in but it looks like it's the other side of the wreck now just two swings and a basketball court. Never had that in the day. It's sport now, but no one's in it because they're all at home playing on their Nintendos and Playstations and Xboxes. That's where the kids are. They ain't in there exercising, playing basketball. No, they're probably playing basketball on their computers. Yes, they are. No one in it, how sad. The village is in to decline. Yeah, when we were kids we used to tie a rope swing up there and swing off here, run round here and end up that side of the tree. Sometimes people got wrapped around the tree. And that is a footpath that takes you to the village to the shop underneath that arch and I lost many a pen knives and someone's got a metal detector I'm sure there's a nice pen knife down there lost in that mud and this is the penthouse nice and peaceful Till we come along as kids with our C90 step through in this field which we could roam everywhere in them days but now they fenced it off Killjoys another part of the penthouse and then we're getting wellies on and exploring upstream getting a waterfall beautiful village very rural. Right, let's take a wander. See what there is to see. It's a shame we used to camp in this field, all sorts. It'd be a footpath right across the middle. Change for the worst. And here is the King's Head. One of our pubs that has gone. Has gone. The King's Head used to be a sign there. 
Look at it, trees growing out of it. That is the King's Head of Five Oak Green. Gone. Yeah, when we were kids, we used to tie a rope swing up there and swing off here, run round here, and end up that side of the tree. Sometimes people got wrapped around the tree. That is a footpath that takes you to the village, to the shop underneath that arch. And I lost many a pen knives. And someone's got a metal detector. I'm sure there's a nice pen knife down there. Lost in that mud. And this is the penthouse. Nice and peaceful. Till we come along as kids with our C90 step through in this field which we could roam everywhere in them days but now they fenced it off killjoys another part of the penthouse I remember getting wellies on and exploring upstream getting a waterfall beautiful village very rural Right, let's take a wander, see what there is to see. It's a shame, we used to camp in this field, all sorts. There used to be a footpath right across the middle. Change for the worst. And right down there is the old primary school. Capel. And whether there's an England, wherever there is an England, there's a country road. And there'll always be an England. Very quiet country road. The first roads built for the motor vehicle, these roads. Still used today as rat runs. Not many cars. What a lovely view. Right. Let's follow it up. Come down Church Lane and we've been full circle. Oh, I've got to show you the dovecot, haven't I? And here is the last pub that's still existing in Fire Queen, the dovecot. Beautiful pub. That's good owls. It's a nice pub. And there's a garden up here. It's my favourite pub in the village. It's a beautiful place. Right. One more bit to show you and that's it. And that is of the church, Thomas Sebeckett. We should probably be down here tonight actually. Right. It's too early for a beer for me. It's only gone three. I like to start to drink till about seven-ish. Right, one more bit to show you. And that is Five Oak Green done. Right, let's take a walk. We've nearly gone full circle of Five Oak Green. England at its best. Right, let's go and explore this church. Beautiful church.
have Thomas the Beckett Church in Five Oak Green. Very old church. We walk up here. Well, actually, we best go round. Because I can see it's fenced off. Right over this. This is the top of Church Lane where I started the vlog from, and I shall be ending the vlog. A beautiful church. Inside the church of Thomas the Beckett in Five Oak Green. Wow, how amazing! Look at the walls. A lovely little church. A lovely little village. We shall shut the door. The glorious sunshine. Out. See this magnificent church. Right, that's it from one man and his vlog in the village of Five Oak Green. Had a great tour of the village. Probably going to be the nicest day of the bank holiday. So I had to get it all in today. Right, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Helps me grow. Well, not me personally, but the channel. Right, and that's the farm owner of Bugsy that lives there. I went to school with his daughters. They weren't allowed to the Christmas dinner. I thought, that was a bit sad. What well, is Christmas? I know they're another religion, but I think you should embrace other people's religion. Right, and that's it. See you in the next one. Stay safe and take care. I'm going to find my mate Duncan and go out for a beer.